aspiration in the physical for the divine's love here is the flower we have called aspiration in the physical for the divine's love by the physical i mean the physical consciousness the most ordinary outward going consciousness the normal consciousness of most human beings which sets such great store by comfort good food good clothes happy relationships etc instead of aspiring for the higher things aspiration in the physical for the divine's love implies that the physical asks for nothing else save that it should feel how the divine loves it it realizes that all its usual satisfactions are utterly insufficient but there cannot be a compromise if the physical wants the divine's love it must want that alone and not say i shall have the divine's love and at the same time keep my other attachments needs and enjoyments the fundamental seat of aspiration from which it radiates or manifests in one part of the being or another is the psychic center when i speak of aspiration in the physical i mean that the very consciousness in you which hankers after material comfort and well-being should of itself without being compelled by the higher parts of your nature ask exclusively for the divine's love usually you have to show it the light by means of your higher parts surely this has to be done persistently otherwise the physical would never learn and it would take nature's common round of ages before it learns by itself indeed the round of nature is intended to show it all possible sorts of satisfactions and by exhausting them convince it that none of them can really satisfy it and that what it is at bottom seeking is a divine satisfaction in yoga we hasten this slow process of nature and insist on the physical consciousness seeing the truth and learning to recognize and want it but how to show it the truth well just as you bring a light into a dark room illumine the darkness of your physical consciousness with the intuition and aspiration of your more refined parts and keep on doing so till it realizes how futile and unsatisfactory is its hunger for the low ordinary things and turns spontaneously towards the truth when it does turn your whole life will be changed the experience is unmistakable when as a child i used to complain to my mother about food or any such small matter she would always tell me to go and do my work or pursue my studies instead of bothering about trifles she would ask me if i had the complacent idea that i was born for comfort you're born to realize the highest ideal she would say and send me packing she was quite right though of course her notion of the highest ideal was rather poor by our standards we are all born for the highest ideal therefore whenever in our ashram some petty request for more comfort and material happiness is refused it is for your own good and to make you fulfill what you are here for the refusal is actually a favor in as much as you are thereby considered worthy to stand before the highest ideal and be shaped according to it